Okay, okay, we got it. Hello guys and welcome day to Gate of Theories. Today we are going to be doing the highly anticipated and waited for how Studio Ghibli fits into the Ultimate Timeline theory. So before we get into this, you will need to have probably seen the Ultimate Timeline theory and the Studio Ghibli Timeline theory just because it makes a lot more sense if you've seen them. So there will be a card somewhere up above or a link in the description down below. And also before we get into this, if you are new around here, why not click that subscribe button because it would mean a massive load to us and we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers as fast as possible. So every little helps. So thanks and without further ado, let's get straight on with the video. So we start in the prehistoric era and the first one comes in between How to Train Your Dragon and Ice Age series and it's Tales of the Earth Sea. Tales from the Earth Sea we see that human technology is very low and we also get to see the start of dragons starting to appear. The tale of Princess Kaguya goes between How to Train Your Dragon and Shrek and Brave, so in that sort of area in the timeline. In this film we see that humans are getting smarter and the technology is still low but magic is sort of being introduced more and more into this. Princess Minoko goes after Brave and in this film we see humans getting slightly smarter. The technology hasn't advanced however the weaponry has seriously advanced in this one and now they are taking out strange different creatures with different sort of weapons. This moves us on to the next era from the Ultimate Timeline Theory which is the age of magic, pirates, trolls miniature creatures and now wars. There will be an explanation as to why wars are coming in. We'll be doing that video on Tuesday, so make sure you stick for that one and subscribe so you get notified when we do that video. But anyway, this is the next era and the first film in this era from Studio Ghibli is Howl's Moving Castle. This film is set in the same era as Pirates and Box Trolls and that sort of Victorian era. In this film, we see that magic is getting stronger. We also only can say it's around that time just from the way it looks. It hasn't been confirmed where, what sort of time period it is, but we're sticking it there. If you disagree with that one, make sure you put it in the comment section below and tell us where you think this should go if you disagree with that one. The next film in this bit is Porco Rosso. This film takes place at around the same era as the last one and the next one that we'll come on to. In this film, we see humans are getting smarter and magic is also getting a bit stronger as we see people being turned into pigs which to me that's very magical and I think you can agree that would fit in the magic era that we have right now. The next film is Kiki's Delivery Service. As we said it's set around the same time, they're all roughly around here, early World War times, the end of Victorian times, early like 19th century, 19, 19th century? Yeah, no. 20th century, that's what it is. Early 20th century. This film would be set about 1937, we'd say, and there's evidence in this film from the reference it, the references to the Hindu burn disaster, which happened in 1937. In this film, we see that magic is getting stronger, basically. Magic is getting stronger, and there's also a lot of witches in it, so, I mean, we associate witches with magic, yeah? We then have Grave of the Fireflies, which follows on after Kiki's Delivery Service. This film is set in World War II times, so there's no magic, the magic is sort of fading out. Anyone who still uses magic doesn't use it in this point, because there's too busy and there's too much of a war going on that we don't see any of that. The penultimate film in this era is Castle in the Sky, which follows on after the previous film. And in this film we see that technology and magic are getting higher and stronger again after the previous film. The final film in this era is Aristity, and this happens at the same time as Epic, and it's the first real introduction, introduction to small, tiny little creatures. And in this film, humans start finding small miniature creatures. Okay, moving on to the era of magic. The first film in this is Ponyo. This goes in between The Secret of Nymph and The House of Magic, and in this film we see that magic is getting stronger. The next film coming up after is a absolute classic, I love this film, Spirited Away, one of the most acclaimed like films you can watch out there. And in this film, this film goes between Rock-A-Doodle and the Hotel Transylvania series. In this we see that there is a magical world and now a human world, and that magical things can travel a lot easier across but humans can't, but obviously in the next film, in our Ultimate Timeline Theory, they can, so we get to see that progression through. We then move on to an era of animals and humans getting smarter, and the first film on this one from Studio Ghibli is When Marnie Was There, and is nicely fit at the beginning of this section. 
In this film, we see humans are getting smart, but we also see the variation in technology between humans as a whole. That like some people have the top end stuff, and some people don't quite have the same amount of technology. The next film is My Neighbor Totoro. This film takes place at the same time as Ratatouille, and in this one, we start to see that some animals and humans are starting to interact, but it's not a like global thing. We then have Whisper of the Heart and The Cat Returns. This film takes place place between Kumba and when Marnie was there and in this film it's sort of the same sort of stuff is happening as the two previous films I mentioned and the final and the final film from this bit from Studio Ghibli that is in our ultimate timeline theory is Pom Poco this goes between all dogs go to heaven and hop and animals are now so smart that they can turn into humans so we see that that we say in this timeline theory it's magic but in the Studio Ghibli Timeline Theory, we say that is spirit. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button and hit that share button so you can show your friends. Um, if you do, tell me in the field section down below what you thought of this, where you think they actually fit, do you think we do agree with ours, what would you change, and for the whole general Ultimate Timeline Theory. Also, what else do you want to see being put in the Ultimate Timeline Theory? Stick it down below there. If you are new to the channel, why not click that subscribe button? We make two new videos a week, including top tens, theories, timeline theories, then and now, so much more. So you want to kind of click it. And if you are already subscribed, make sure you have that bell button click so you get notified when we make new videos. And as always, we've been here on Gabe's Theories. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on Tuesday with another video. Thanks for watching, guys.